Good evening YouTube viewers and subscribers and welcome to the first attempted run for my newly acquired Sato FA-130T dual plug engine. Now I've got this on the stand and I've got four plugs installed. The two in the front are Hangar 9 Super Plugs. The two in the rear are OSF Plugs. I've got a Master Air Screw 15.8 prop and a very small tank of 5% because this is going to be a very short run just for a proof of life because after I put the prop on and started spinning this thing over it feels like I've got a bad bearing or a bearing that is in need of being replaced maybe it's the front one but it could be the rear one but I at least wanted to get a run done so I could at least assess starting operating characteristics of the engine I've got the high-speed needles open two full turns as this is not a new engine so it's been run before so it should not need a break in but let's uh, see if I can hand start it and see how she runs
Okay, so as I said, it was going to be a short run, kind of a David get familiar with the engine run. Um, once it was primed, it started very easily. I don't have a whole lot of friction on this throttle line, so I have to try and bend it over here and try and make some friction. That's why when I fired it up, it automatically went to full throttle. So this throttle arm, even if it's just laying with no tension on it whatsoever, it has a tendency to want to be at full throttle anyway, so I'm just going to have to find a way to put a little bit more tension on that. I never like it when it just fires up and it goes to full throttle. But anyway, the engine runs, and as suspected, I think there's a bad bearing or bearings in this engine, so it's going to need to be completely torn down and have these bearings replaced. But it did run, and it ran quite well. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a dual carb tuning, so this cylinder here, as you're looking at it from behind, the right cylinder dropped out at idle a couple times, and as soon as I put the glow on there, you heard it really, the RPM really pick up, and it really took off then. So um, that's not unusual. It's just going to be a matter of me tweaking and getting these carbs set up properly. Um, but anyway pretty successful first run don't think I'm gonna do any more because I think I just need to tear into this engine and replace the bearings but uh, hopefully in a few weeks we'll get some more runs on this engine so thank you for watching